Welcome back in, ladies and Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Intech RV. Excited to be here to show you their process of building campers. Now, if you have any questions, by all means, put a comment down below or reach out to me. My contact information will be down below this video, but let's get started with the good stuff. So one thing that um, Intech does, they're, they're building it from um, top to bottom. So you see, they get all the raw materials in. They have their own cabinet shops, or shop, shouldn't say shops, their own cabinet shop that actually um, builds their own cabinet. We're gonna go right on the other side of here and show you. You know, some manufacturers, they're gonna go ahead and they'll buy their cabinets, they'll buy them. Um, they're not gonna go ahead and make all their same stuff. So this is all the stuff for the cabinets it's gonna be right on the other side of there. See all the different pieces that they have coming in here. And we'll go into uh, details as we're going down the lines, showing you how things are made. But this is just the cabinet shop itself. I picked a great day to come here. It's Friday, the guys only work half a day. They come in here at five o'clock in the morning. It's already a little bit after nine and everybody's gone. So this is working out well as far as for me to be able to show you without all the noise that typically goes on in a plant. So this is their cabin shot. They all their CNC routers. They've got their, um, their, the guys, the gals, whoever actually making these things and putting them together. And you'll see the quality when I'm going down the line and showing you uh, what, they, what they look like. And look at how clean it is. I mean, this is a phenomenally clean plant. They still have a few guys here working. You can hear in the background driving around and so forth. But this is the, the, the one plant. They've been here for about two years. You can hear some more on this side that they have as well. And you see all the lines that they have stocked with all the different pieces that they're gonna be using for building these. You can see all the way down through here. So let's get down to, uh, and show you the frame, what they're doing at that end. So now this is another part of the um, cabinet making shop here where they put things together. And you'll notice that all the equipment has these vacuum cleaner uh, things. You can see all those hoses going up to the roof there. All of these different things that are cutting are actually sucking out all that dust and it takes it out and puts it, makes it easy for them to get rid of it. Now this is where they're making the doors. They're making uh, different cabinets. They got all their styles in here. Place where they glue. So here's their cabinets put together here. You can tell that's where they do a lot of gluing right there. And here's some more cabinets they've got together here. See cabinet drawers. When they get them put together, then they get them stacked up there and they're ready to rock and roll, go to the next spot. Like I say, they're fit and finish. They do a really good job. So they got bicycles to get around in here in case they need it. Cause this is a pretty big place, by the way, there's some countertops there. You can see how long this place goes. It goes all the way down there. Now their, their lines for when they're building are gonna go left to right, or actually, yeah, left to right. Uh, and they've got four lines in here. So let's get down the other end here. Now in this area, this is where they, the, the caps, they buy the caps from a vendor and they bring them in. So they're coming in, they're gonna be stacked in here. And then this area, what they're doing is they're getting them ready to put the window in, as you can see. They're putting in, you can see they're putting the, um, the felt inside the cap. So because when they come in, see how there's no felt in the cap? So they're getting all that felt, they're getting the window area prepped for the window to go in. Felt there, and now here's where the window's in. Getting things set up for the, um, for the LP door. So now the windows are in, now they're, they come up here, they're gonna be ready to go to the next section. This is how they pick up their windows. See, they get those handles, 
those are those suction cups and they're able to lift those and put those in place so they also this is where they have the doors doors come in they're buying them from vendors so they come in and now all these windows they're set up on their own rollers and they put on there what they're for so that way there they make sure that they put them in the right line when they're needed so this is where all the raw materials come in for the framing section both for the walls as well as the actual frames themselves in this area as you can see they actually do hand weld the sidewalls and then they're setting them over there. I'll be coming back to the side walls here in a bit. But this is for the side walls on this side. They're actually welded in, in place. And here are all the materials. Now, this is going to be materials for the saw, side walls as well as the frame itself. And I'll show you as we're coming down on this side. This is the equipment which they're going to go ahead and be able to cut them to size. It's all set up they just program it it's programmed in the machines it knows exactly where to cut them and then they're going to go ahead and put them in these bins and each bin has a I'm sure has a uh, specific uh, number or whatever for them and you can see that they're showing you okay what they're referenced for so that's going to be for a an actual number you see they have the number sure that has to do something with the VIN on a particular unit. You see they have them all stacked together. And now they're going to start putting the frame together here. So they're building it from the ground up. Now, as you can see, this frame is upside down right now. They're getting things um, put on it, connected and so forth. And then you can see now they, this one's still flipped upside down. This is one of the smaller ones. I'm going to and you see they get the axle put on here and then they got to flip it over they got to get it as you can see those are on the wheels but they got to get it to a certain point and then they got these hoists that are above you can see right up here that they'll actually hook to them to be able to flip those over once they get the tires on them so they can start rolling them here is on this side so they get the wheels and tires over here already set Here's another frame that they're putting together. You see they, they get the stabilizers on them. They get the axles. And next, from this point, what they're going to do is they're going to be put in line. And they're going to go down the line. And now, once they get over here, they have stations. And unfortunately, I don't have anybody working here today. So, really can't tell you what they're doing at the different stations but while it's on the tables they're getting the tanks and everything on so that way there when they bring it over here now they're going to start with the wiring and so forth now, I don't know what what camper that one's going to be uh, sometimes they'll have it written on the side I do not see a sheet or anything on it but you'll see that once they get it to this point now they've got to go through all the welds and they got to get them nice and flat so that when they put the floor on there it's not going to be creating a gap or anything. So here's what it looks like in the framing area. Now, lastly, what they do here in, if you want to call this the frame shop, what they're going to be doing is they're going to actually take the walls, the ceiling, and so forth, and they're going to go ahead and get it welded together. So this is what it is actually going to look like but they got to put it up on top of the frame. So as you can see, this one here, and this is a, this is going to be an Octa. And I can tell by the, um, the layout. And this is probably the Magnolia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I thought that was a, I thought that was like for an air conditioner. But that actually just sits on there so they can um, hold their tools on it. So the next thing they'll do is that one's actually going to come over here and go on this frame. So that'll be done Monday when they come in. 
So before it actually gets sent over to the line, they're gonna actually have it set up like this. So this here, if I'm not mistaken, is gonna be for um, the Luna, I believe. Um, so this is gonna be a hatch on the back. Notice how there's no framing back here. And I'll show you what it's gonna look like after they put it together. So they have it set and they weld that in place. That is how that, that is done there. So this is the end as far as from a standpoint of the framing. So you had the, we had the cabinets, now you had the framing. Now they're gonna be sent to each particular line and finished out. So uh, for more information on this, check out my other videos. I'll be putting those up if I don't have them up already on each of the different lines and what they look like at each different stage of the build. So I appreciate you watching. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. And everyone, please do like, comment, and share this video out. My contact information is down below uh, if uh, you have any questions, like to reach out. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.